YouTube, what's good? What's going on? I'm back on the grind. Just got back from Cleveland. The Clee Barber exhibition was lit. If you didn't catch the vlog, I dropped it yesterday where I showed one of the barber battles, one of the biggest barber battles in Cleveland. And it was a good time, man. We did some classes and stuff. And then we also gave a bunch of nuggets, how to win barber battles. And Drew the Barber, my friend, shares how he makes $1,700 in one day cutting hair. Just cutting hair. So if you missed out on that video, I dropped it yesterday. Go check it out. But today, we're going to be reacting to Barber Tutorial with no views. Let's get started. All right, so I was scrolling down different tutorials of this week, and this one has 71 views. I really like, the thumbnail was okay, but I feel like the title was cool, Teddy Boys 1950, and then I kind of saw the description, and it said, in my chair is the oldest rocker in town. He's been a Teddy Boy since around 1950. So hopefully there's a backstory during this tutorial. Let's check it out, man. It piqued my interest. Saucy lot, smell my feet. Anyway, um, like, anyway, today's haircut. Oh, and we got new yeah. in the background. Say hello. He yeah, had ho holes in his and socks and everything. And he's got his client in. Say hello, client. Hello. Hey, there you go. Anyway, today's haircut. He was one of the oldest rocker in town. Been having a Teddy Boy haircut since about 1066. And uh, well, he likes to keep that Teddy Boy look, but it's got to be a little bit more wearable because he used to wear it oh, up there, something like, like crazy. So anyway, what we did, we worked off the horseshoe section. Underneath the horseshoe section, we worked some very light scissor over comb. We do want to go too short with the scissor over comb because he likes to be able to push it back. Once I've done that, I then worked above the horseshoe, disconnected it from the sides, because basically what he wants to do, he likes that little bit of length, he likes to push it back. If I blended that in, you're gonna lose that length. So what we did with the layer pattern, we took a center profile section, brought it all the way up, all the way around, and because we brought it up at the front, once we've done that, we took vertical sections, we brought it all into the middle. By over-directing it, you're keeping the layer shorter in the middle, and it basically comes out, almost like a concave. I like the intro. The intro's dope. See you later, and don't forget to subscribe, because it makes me a happy boy. See you later. Say bye, Louis. Bye, Louis. Say bye, Louis Klein. Bye, Louis Klein. Hey, guy, we're out of here. See you. Imagine hanging out in right, that shop. So here we have <laughs> the oldest rocker in town. Yeah. Now, this is about the nicest guy you could wish to meet. Uh, in his day, he was a greaser and a teddy boy. He's had all the big American cars. Uh, so we're just going to keep a haircut, keeping in theme with that lifestyle that he enjoys. This is cool. So what we're going to do, we're just going to grip the hair out of the way. The section pattern we're going to take is called a horseshoe. Now the legend that he is, he still likes to put a little bit of colour on his hair. Uh, it's due for a colour soon, so it just makes the uh, hair look a little bit uneven. Not really taking much off with the scissor over comb. Uh, if we take too much off, he's going to struggle to get it to all, to all sit back. Yeah, simple enough. This is Barbara. Not bad, not bad, you got, you got the shape going. Yeah, this guy, he is, uh, he, I could talk to him for hours. Some of the stories that he's got back in the day. As you can see, That's look, cool. this is a top, uh, this top of the hair, I'm leaving it disconnected. I'm not gonna blend it in. Okay, so in the center profile section. I'm gonna put it all up at 90 degrees. In other words, that's straight, straight up from the head. And then we're just gonna follow the head shape round which I will blend in. As you can see, that was from yeah. the scissor over comb. Yeah, I blend that in the back. So we're just gonna blend that in. So your center profile section is, the section is basically, you take a center profile line, in other words, uh, middle passing, and then you just take about half inch either side of that set, of that line, and that will give you your section. You're gonna over direct now just it to over directing back everything into the middle. So it's what you could call an inversion or a concave. You'll see, that is the direction we need to be taking it in. So straight into the middle. Now, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't have to be perfectly even. Once you style it, it's gonna look like it's been textured. It's gonna fall into place. Yeah, if you were gonna work a round layer or a square layer, it, it just really wouldn't work with this style because you're, you're gonna lose that length that you, that you need. It doesn't cut, if nothing reaches, there's no reason to cut. So you move the hair around, see how it feels and then just cross-check the, the, the other side, the side, cross-check the top. So he's not worried about cutting, rounding those corners or anything? So at this point, I felt it was just slightly too long. So I'm just gonna angle that hair down and just take those very ends off. 
They don't have to be connected. This is a dope cut. You can see as I'm combing it back, uh, that length we left at the front, that helps style sitting nicely. Wait till he styles it. I already know it's going to be fire. And then I'm just going to take off those very ends on the front, just because they just felt a little bit dry. Man, I ain't going to lie, watching this tutorial makes me want to cut some hair right now. I want to cut some hair now. Yeah, I want to keep that hairline looking quite natural. So, you know, I'm not really pushing in too hard, not really creating much of a line. It's really more about just taking away those neck hairs and just just um, just trimming those ends up really on the hairline. I wonder if he's going to use any uh, like texturizing or thinning shears. I doubt it, but... You know what I'm saying? You don't see me do very often. I'm using the texturizing shears. <laughs> Yo! I promise you I have not watched this video. And he, he prefaced it. He said, something you don't see me do very often, but he did use it. He is using it, and I, I do think it's going to make the cut look better. But I feel like in the UK in general, British barbers, they don't really use the thinning shears as much as we do here. But I did think with this cut, it, it would make it even better. Even though it was already good, it would make it look even better. So it's so funny that right when I was talking about it, he pulls out the thinning shears. You know, back in the day, this is the way a lot of the barbers actually took weight out of the hair. So yeah, I yeah. thought I'd just keep it quite vintage. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna look amazing. Right away, that looks that looks better. Right away, in the back at least. Right, the weight in the back. Well, you can use quite a strong gel. Now, I'm not a big fan of gel, uh, but with a style like this, you need something that's gonna make the hair sit really solid. So yeah, just running a bit of gel through the hair. I find with gel that you really do need to dry it into the hair. If you leave it slightly damp, uh, it goes sticky, it goes hard, it goes horrible. So yeah, you really need to, when you're, if you're using a gel, you really need to dry it through 100%. That, oh, I thought he was going to use a diffuser for a second there. Yeah, just using a brown, brown brush with the drying. You know, you can use it pretty much as a, as a vent brush if you need to. Uh, what I like about using a round brush is that, you, you know, if you want to roll the hair, you can do that. So yeah, just a bit of a roll with that. So as you can see, the shortest layers are in the middle and you know, the outside, that's just basically gonna fold in and uh, yeah, make it sit nicely. Now this gentleman who's telling me back in the day, he used to use Vaseline on the hair, he used to use sugar water. It's so great to speak to this guy. You know, he's a wealth of knowledge sugar, about that time. water. About, you know, in the 50s and the 60s. and water. He really knows his sugar stuff. And water. He's just a great guy to have in my chair. How cool. Yeah, we're just gonna use just a little bit of clay in the hair. Just gives it a bit more hold. If you want more of a shine, then, you know, go with some black and white or, or go with some Brill Cream. How dope and just bringing it all into the middle, otherwise known as a DA. You see, he's chit-chatting away to the other clients. It's a bit of a legend, this man. And then just <laughs> using a little bit of silhouette spray just to hold it in place. So you're a bit of a legend. Bro, I love this cut, man. Blade Runner, you smashed this, bro. Look at the shape. That you can disconnect. See where that disconnection works Perfect. really well where my hand is. It just gives it such a beautiful shape. Very, so there you go, nice. guys. Hope you like the haircut. Bravo. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Bravo. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Very, very nice. I feel like people in the States wouldn't appreciate this cut as much, but I really appreciate it, man. I think it's a very nice cut. All right, let's see if there's any comments. I know this is tutorials with no views, so zero comments, but let's check out his actual channel. Look, when you go to home, there's no content. So Blade Runner, you gotta go into your creator dashboard. All right, so go to YouTube Studio right there. Then you're gonna come over here to customization. And then when you go to panel customization, you can see you can mess with the layout. And then you can put short videos at the top. You can put all your uploads. So that's what I do. I put uploads and then I put shorts at the very top. That way it doesn't look like your channel because with this, you're definitely missing out on potential views. Very seldom do people go and click videos. I don't know why, but people will say, yo, did you ever drop this? Or do you ever drop this? And I'm like, yo, go to, the, go to my videos. I can't find it. Because they don't click on this tab. I don't know why. Even with mobile app, you can see that tab and they don't click it. Oh, damn, look. I'm scared. Is he going to say good things about it? We got to watch it. We got to watch it. We got to watch it. Let's see what he says. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I promise you, I've n this just happened. I, I literally was going down my timeline. I have never watched one of Blade Runner's videos. I don't think I could be wrong. I've watched so many videos, guys. If I have watched your channel, bro, I'm sorry that I'm just, yeah. But if I have watched Blade Runner's channels before and you guys know that, I don't remember. So this is pretty cool that I react to one of his tutorials and then he has a review on one of my products. So let's see if he actually likes the Tune 45 Eco Battery. 
Enjoy the Blade Runner and today we're going to be talking about this clipper, the Magic Clip. It's an absolutely fantastic clipper. It is. The one problem with it is after a while the battery seems to just die off a little bit and it does seem to lose power. Sounds awesome, then you take it out and it just seems to just die off. Now anyway, I found a really good fix for it. Uh, it is from Tomb 45 and it is the Eco battery. This is the same size as the battery that you get in the wall, but you know, the wall battery in the clipper, should I say, uh, but it's got so much more power to it. Uh, I was watching the Chris Bossio video and he decided to try out the runtime with this in the seniors and he got just under two hours. Uh, it fits really easy into the clipper. Two uh, bottom screws out. When you've done that, you can loosen it up, take the silver plate off and you've got one more screw just in here so we're gonna take that off that will come off and that's the battery all you do is you just unclip it just here yeah so the battery comes out you want it so the tomb 45 battery bit is showing yep pretty damn easily just snaps in and then just reconnect it up it is such an easy fix to do so anyway i'm just gonna just put it back together and i'll show you the difference in power in a moment it's a definite improvement that is running at some serious, serious power. Yeah, if you want this battery, it costs you, I think it's about 22 pounds. Uh, you can get it from Christopher and Son if you're in the UK. So just Google Christopher and Son, it's absolutely epic. It seems to have so much more power. It basically is gonna last a lot longer. So, uh, and I don't think it makes the Magic Clip, what was a very good clipper, hell of a lot better. Anyway, do, don't forget, do subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I'm out of Hey, subscribe to Blade Runner, bro. Subscribe to Blade Runner. Listen, man, y'all know how, that, how good that makes me feel that, you know, people in the UK, somebody like him, I was reacting to one of his videos, and I'm really happy that I reacted to his video. Makes me feel good. Yep, the 245 battery does up the power. I've got one inside my wall senior too. It's turned it into a real beast. Now I'm gonna unplug, it does power still dip. Oh, that's a good question. Ever so slightly about a lot better. Yep. I mean, obviously power, direct power is going to be more powerful than just a battery, right? But I like to think that our battery is pretty damn good. Yeah, that's dope. I enjoyed his channel. You guys go subscribe. I will put a link to Blade Runner's channel below in the description. Go subscribe to his channel. Obviously he has amazing content and he knows good products. So with that being said, guys, I love y'all. We drop daily content on this channel. Let me know in the comments. Video, smash the like button, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all tomorrow.